it's kind of this crazy juxtaposition of the technology of solar with kind of centuries old farming and sheep herding. My name is Brock Phillips. I'm the Director of Livestock Services for Carolina Solar, and that division of livestock is known as Carolina Lamb. Ironically, I'm originally from Kansas, but I'm from the biggest city in Kansas, which isn't saying a lot, but I'm from Wichita. And so I came to school down here in Chapel Hill for university and studied chemistry and environmental science. Realized I didn't want to be in a lab all day. Um, I wanted to be outside, so I got interested in agriculture and started working with uh, a local farm actually about 10 minutes down the road from here. And this opportunity came up where I could have a full-time job working in agriculture with a border collie who's perfectly suited to herding sheep on this site. Um, and it's just, it's kind of this crazy juxtaposition of the technology of solar with kind of centuries old farming and sheep herding with a dog. So Carolina Hello. Solar Services is a solar services company. And they do everything from electrical maintenance, landscaping maintenance, performance engineering, just a little bit of everything. And so as the company developed, there was the opportunity to add sheep to the operation and integrate it with the landscaping crews. And so the thought was how to do a more low impact way of managing sites and also stretching the resources that we have. Um, it can be kind of difficult running crews in the hot summer in North Carolina mowing. And so when you have those folks who do it really well and are very safe, you want to hold on to them. So in an effort to stretch those good crew members to cover more uh, acreage, we decided to add sheep. And so what that does is it gives us a chance to graze those sites. It's incredibly low impact. There's almost no liability or damage to panels from the animals. Um, you don't have men on equipment that could possibly run into stuff. It's just always a safety hazard. So it reduces those man hours on site um, while also being kind of a, a biological maintenance method. And so what we've seen that be able to do is uh, reduce mowing by half to two thirds over the course of a season, which I think is pretty impressive here in North Carolina. Um, wouldn't be so much if we were in the desert, but things go pretty quick down here in the southeast. So um, what we try to do is plan the season around the sheep and then have those mow crews be able to adapt and address buffers and different sites um, as the season goes on. So it's it's a little different with vegetation maintenance. There's always been this um, biological aspect that's hard to reconcile with the technology that is solar, um, just because biological systems throw a lot one year when it rains or it's hot and dry and don't. So with the sheep, we have to be a little more adaptive. Um, and so our goal is to do what's called intensive grazing. And so we'll move sheep onto a site and we try to operate with about 180 to 200 sheep with a donkey for predator protection. And as we move them onto the site, we'll take a 20 acre site and subdivide it with electrical fencing and turn it into three acre, five acre, six acre paddocks. The goal there being we're gonna concentrate the sheep in a small area for a few days. We get something that more closely approximates a mow. So clients, it's kind of more to their expectations. Um, it's better for the grasses. The sheep are less selective, so they're not just letting the weeds grow. And then they move to a new section. It also has a health benefit for the sheep as they're not constantly grazing the same site. It gets them to a new area where they're not gonna be exposed to internal parasites, other things. And so that rotation has worked out really well for us. And also the grass responds pretty well to it, um, additionally.